You just became a billionaire. Your cryptocurrency portfolio just landed on the moon and you sold before the big crash. You're one billion dollars liquid. And what is the first thing you're going to do? You're going to buy the biggest mansion you've always dreamed about. You have a 70 million dollar budget. You've zeroed in on Homeby Hills, the most prestigious neighborhood in LA. And you have fallen in love with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. But there's a problem. Your real estate agent is your nephew who's attached to you like a hemorrhoid. And his last transaction was a studio he bought for himself in Van Nuys. And you need advice, real advice. So you find me on the internet and say, Arvin, I'll take you out to lunch. Just help me buy this $70 million house. Should I buy it? Yes or no? And if so, how much should I pay for it? In this video, I'm going to use two really good comps to compare this property to for price. And then I'm going to analyze this property on Pacific of what makes a mega mansion great so you can make the right decision. But I didn't introduce myself. I am Arvin Haddad from Listing Impossible on CNBC. You probably haven't seen that show, but if you on TikTok, you've seen my viral videos where you know I'm passionate about real estate. The first thing you want to know is should I buy this property or not? Because your nephews keep sending you these donkey signs to sign the purchase offer and you're just not sure. You're reaching out to me and say, Arvin, I need a third party who doesn't have skin in the game and can advise me correctly should I purchase this property or not? So let's get down to it. First is location. We're talking about Homeby Hills, the most prestigious neighborhood in LA. So it's an A++++. Now, Homeby Hills, you can divide it into two segments, north of Sunset, south of Sunset. North of Sunset has typically had bigger sales. Doesn't mean south of Sunset is worse, but you know, if you had to pick two, you know, I would go with North of Sunset. Now, this property is in South of Sunset, Homeby Hills. Now, there are two busy streets in this neighborhood. Sunset, which I'm sure you heard of, and the other one is Beverly Glen. Now, the address of this house is Mapleton Drive, which is a named street. It's one of the most famous streets in Homeby Hills. But, there's a big but, one side of this lot sits on Beverly Glen, and that should be considered a negative, okay? Overall, I would say within the big scope of LA, it's an A location. Within Homeby Hills, it's a C plus B minus location, okay? Now, let's talk about privacy. This property is completely private. Even though it's on, you know, Beverly Glen on one side, it's perched up and completely hedged. So you don't have to worry about that, except the noise which we'll come down to. Now, the scale of this house, you have huge ceilings. You want that. Whenever you want to go above 50 million, you want these big rooms that speak volume and it justifies the buyer say, okay, I got this mansion, right? You want that. So this property totally has that. Now, another important element is a lot orientation. This is a south facing lot. That's amazing. You want a natural sun coming in in the northern hemisphere. You want south facing in the southern hemisphere. You want north facing because you get the most amount of sun. Now, another thing you want to talk about is the approach. The approach is on Mapleton Drive, which is a great street. So you enter from Mapleton Drive. If the entrance to this house was from Beverly Glen, just a different caliber. It would make that big of a difference, right? Now, the approach is fantastic. Fantastic, but the way the house sits on the lot is amazing. It actually reminds me of my own house, which is completely different scale. But I also have a property that is L-shaped house and I love L-shaped properties. And the way this side of the property, if you take a look, protects the lot from the busy side. And I have a corner lot property myself that is on a busy street. So I get it. This side of the house should protect the noise from entering the backyard. And the only caveat here is that you want to make sure you're primary bedroom is not on this side okay as long as your guest bedroom or movie theater and all that stuff is on this side then you're fine right you kind of nullified that problem because the noise is going to your guest houses it's totally fine they will leave sooner you don't want to have guests forever anyways but the way you open this door it has the wow factor because as soon as you approach you open the front door, you're going to see the depth of the lot. And that is luxury. This is not a view property. You're paying for prime, prime land. So this section gets an A plus for me. I think they've absolutely nailed it. Now to your favorite section, the finishes. The finishes are masculine. I've seen feminine finishes do much better, but masculine finishes do well if they stick with few colors. And in this case, they have. They've kept it timeless. Another thing is if they go with the latest, newest, 
trend, that trend gets old very fast. So you got to pay attention. Is this the newest thing that's going to get old really quick? Or are these classic? Like, for example, busy marbles get really old. Granite, for example, has become super old because it has a very, very busy pattern, right? But softer marbles and, uh, you know, they're using quartz right now, which are much simpler, not in this property. But overall, you want finishes that are timeless. You can, you know, use them for the longest amount of period. If you decide to offload this property in four or five years, it's still relevant, right? So one of the favorite things about this house is the kitchen for me. A triple island. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. You can literally play human Pac-Man and have a lot of fun. Overall, finishes for me get a A-. minus. So overall, I think this property is a buy. So the property gets a thumbs up. Your nephew's already celebrating as if it's done. And half of the family's kind of pissed off because there was another cousin with a real estate license you didn't know. It's a mess. I don't want to get in there, okay? That's your problem. But how much are we going to pay for this property? I'm going to use two comps. One is the property of late owner of Hilton Hotels. And this property is in prime Homeby Hills, north of Sunset, and also not on a busy street. The house is half the size of the house you want to buy. It's only 15,000 square feet, but the lot is twice, okay? Now, we can't just wash it off, but, you know, say, oh, this is double, and that's double, and nah, it doesn't quite work that way. But, you know, that's the information for you. And this house wasn't renovated new like the house you're about to buy. And this property sold for $61 million. The second house I'm going to use for comp is the house that we can just paid $69 million for. And I know what you're thinking, Arvin, that was Lower Bel Air. This is Homeby Hills. It doesn't apply. Yes, it does. When there is not a fresh comp in your own neighborhood, you can go to sister neighborhoods that are similar. And Lower Bel Air and Beverly Hills North of Sunset are the most similar neighborhoods to Homeby Hills. Plus, the specs of these two houses are very, very similar. They both have around the same square footage of the house, same square footage of the lot, and they're both done homes. Means the quality of the finishes is the same. There's different type of finishes, but the quality is the same. So I can use it. But I do have a problem because the weekend bought this house off market meaning we don't know anything. We don't know what happened. If you believe the papers, supposedly he knocked on the door and he said, how much for your house? And they threw a big number and he just paid it. If that is true, then obviously he overpaid because he had to incentivize very, very wealthy people to get the hell out of their own house. And for that, and also based on the house that Uber founder just recently bought in Lower Bel Air, I would value that property somewhere around $50 million. So now, if the weekend house is worth 50 and let's call it the Hilton house is worth 61, how much would you say this house is worth? I would personally go with a number somewhere around 45 million, but look, this is not exact science. This is an art to justify these prices is very difficult. So this is not the word of God, but it's better than your nephew. I promise you that. Okay. On all seriousness, if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe and write a comment. Tell me your thoughts. I really want to know. I'm passionate about the subject matter. I want to bring clarity to real estate so people can make better judgment and we make better decisions when we buy because the majority of your wealth by the time you ex uh, retire, expire, is going to come from your single family residence that you live in. So let's go. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and I'm going to watch you I'm going to I'm going to watch you in the next video. Sure. Okay. Bye.